Hey love, so it's your girl April and this is going to be a hair video. Of course, I do have four bundles and this is from Asteria Hair. And I actually had the opportunity of working with this hair company on Ally Express many months ago. And I will tell you this, they do have some really, really great hair. Um, I did dye it. They do have some really, really great hair. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a vendor that has some affordable hair but really nice, then you can check out Asteria Hair on Ally Express. This is probably like my third video um, with them and I will say this. 100% grade A hair. So I do have their deep wavy hair and it's in four bundles. Two 22s, a 20 and an 18. Closure is a little bit different, it's a 14 inch this time. So that's a little bit different for me. The packaging does have one of their hearts and one of those scan things. So it is more or less like a light color lace front. Um, lace closure, excuse me, and it does have the reinforced sides. As for the knots, I'm just going to put it up to the sunlight. So I do see some that do need some tweezing, and don't they all? Like, you ain't about to get no closure that don't need tweezing. I don't really, you know, I have gotten a few that have some really, really great um, no knots, no nothing, but I do get them that have some knots in it. So let me keep tell you guys, keep that in mind. Your ass is going to have to tweeze something or pluck something, depending on how you want to wear it. But, so this does smell kind of. Um, it has a stench to it, a smell to it. I, I think that they all have like this certain smell. I, I'm gonna just call it the Ally Express smell. You know what I mean? And that is the bearding right there. is not that bad either like I said they have some really great hair and it's especially affordable if you're looking for something affordable we will see how this hair turns out it is a little bit dry um, it's not as silky as some deep waves which I prefer because I really don't like it too silky because then it's not as full to me so yes let's continue to watch this video I think I'm going to do something totally different with this like make it red so we shall see but on that note stay tuned okay love so it's time to get this hair prepared and dyed so as you can see the closure I have sectioned the closure into like a bunch of little ponytails um you really don't need much probably like six or seven or five um but I do this because I don't like the roots of the closure to be lightened I like it to have dark roots so that is the reason for that I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Techniques high color bleach or you know hot color dye it's for dark hair and I'm also going to be using a 30 cream developer you can use 20 but I'm going to use 30 and also this bottle right here to measure and as well as this to pour it in and some clips to keep the hair separated a comb to comb through the hair and some brushes to paint on the mixture so you want to mix this properly the instructions to this is inside of the box of how much to put in honestly i cannot remember right now off the top of my head but i do have about four or five of these boxes so the reason for the baby bottle that is not usable anymore of course nobody's gonna be using it is so i can just pour it all of the cream developer in there and measure it um measure it and it just gives me like the best measuring thing so um yeah you can use 20 developer if you want you can use 30 you can use 40 it does say that on the box so i'm just going to use 30 i don't really want to use 40 and i don't want to use 20 because it's really not going to make a difference so i'm just going to make sure i get all of that developer out of there and i'm just going to stir it all up really well inside this big old bowl um and this is the developer along with the l'oreal highlight you want to make sure that you stir it up really good to where it's creamy. Now you don't see any lumps and bumps in it. It's just smooth and creamy. Now onto the hair. So this is a lot of hair. I used every last bundle of hair with this, like every bit of it. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and separate the hair because I just like it in sections. This is how I do my highlighting and I don't want a lot. So I'm just going to just take a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and to section off. Use my little clip there and I'm going to paint on top of the hair. I'm not going to paint through it or anything. I'm just going to paint on the top. This just gives me the highlights that I like on my hair. So that's basically how I do it. It is very tedious and time consuming. But yes, and let me tell you guys. I actually put this 
um, mixture all onto the wig. And, you know, you can leave it on for like 35, 45 minutes, whatever, it's up to you. But being that this hair is virgin, I always leave it on longer because I really want to make sure that, you know, it processes. Normally, I never use the blonde. I never, ever use their blonde. I always use the red because sometimes the red will fail too, but there's just a way you just got to do it. But so, you know, I said, let me just try this blonde this time. I'm pretty sure it is not going to come out blonde. I put it on put the plastic bag over the mannequin's head so that the hair could process. And, um, you know, was just chilling, was about to get in the shower and then realized I wasn't even about to get in the shower, I was about to go to bed. Um, I said, oh, snap, I forgot about the dye. So I actually left this on the hair, on the hair for like two hours, like over two hours. I totally forgot all about it. And I was about to go to bed. And then I was just looking at it like, what is that? Like, I just totally forgot. Left it on, left the plastic on. Didn't even remember. Trying to figure out what that was in the bathroom with the plastic on. Until I realized, oh my God, April, what is wrong with you? So when I rinsed it out of the hair, it was fine. It didn't damage the hair. The hair is actually really, really good hair. So I just thought I would share that with you guys while you watch me paint on this mixture. But let me tell y'all. These little L'Oreal Excellence boxes are really neat. I love the red. I did red already plenty of times. Um, I'm going to do another full tutorial of how I get it to be really shocking red because my curly unit, um, which is my Black China unit, or it's a Black China inspirational hair. It's very red. So I know there are a lot of people that wanted to ask me how I got it. So I will be showing you guys that. So yes, this is the last step. I am just putting it on the closure. Like I said, I put rubber bands so that way I don't have any light roots. I keep all the roots dark. That makes it really, really simple. So now onto the plastic. And yes, just make sure that you don't forget that you have it on. So as you see, this is the hair from Asteria. And you did see me dyeing it in the video um, with the L'Oreal highlights. It's supposed to make the hair blonde. I already knew that it was not about to be blonde. That's why I got the lightest blonde as Champagne Blonde. And I forget what the other one was called because I have four boxes all together and I got two of each color. I already knew it was not about to turn the hair blonde. That's like several applications. Now let me tell you something. It's not a fail because it came out like this really pretty brown, which is nice, but I'm gonna tell you and be honest, I could have gotten this from my Dark and Lovely Honey Blonde hair dye. I love Dark and Lovely. First of all, it's like $3 and some change a box versus this, which is like $7. So you can get the Dark and Lovely and get the same color for almost half the price. You can get Dark and Lovely from basically anywhere. With L'Oreal highlights, I have not seen those um, boxes sold um, everywhere. Like, you cannot go to the hood store and pick those up or Walmart. So, I've only seen them at Stylies, but maybe it's different. But if you want the same color, you can go and get like the Dark and Lovely bo um, box dye. And it's gonna come out the exact same color. Trust me, I have used those box dyes a million times on virgin hair and it works well. Also, another great one is the Cream of Nature Ginger Blonde, which will make it a little bit lighter than this. A tiny bit lighter than this because it has like some type of powder in it, which kind of lifts the color a little bit more. That is probably like 4 or $5 and some change. Cream of Nature is more expensive than Dark and Lovely, but it is a little bit stronger and it will do a better job, but you're still saving money versus getting the L'Oreal highlights. But anyway, as for Asteria hair, this hair is gorgeous by them. It really held up. I tweezed some of a part in it, and of course, it is still the original length. I love when my hair is curly like this, and it's this color because it just looks really, really pretty to me. For the most part, really gorgeous hair. Hair. turned out super cute love Asteria this is like I think this is the third wig that I've made with them so I don't really have any doubt with their hair or anything at all they have some really um, bomb ass hair for it to be really cheap and inexpensive so 
yes you guys let me know what you think of this one with the color what you think of the color it's a really great fall color i think this is a gorgeous fall color but as for hysteria gray hair you can check them out i will post all of their information for you guys below if you want a custom wig made you can always check out my website go on with the win wigs .com, as well as that as i do have in stock wigs they do sell out fast so just keep that in mind when looking on the website but other than that yeah hysteria hair held up really well so on that note you live and learn you try new things out and yeah so stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up if it was helpful all the info in the box below and as always i love you guys and i'll see you on my next video hey.